Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Land 2. We have taken care of all of our business in Red Canyon, so it's now time to take on level 6, Cloudy Park. I bet you can easily guess who the boss for this area is, solely on the geography of this area, as well as the name of this area. And we got 6 places to go here instead of four or five. The levels are getting longer as we near the end. Might as well go ahead and start with level one here where do some standard platforming here. And I don't know why I got rid of that. I almost considered uh, hitting it with hitting the Sparky with the ability, but I realized hey I can still hit him from there. So let's go ahead and do just that. If I can play my cards right, I can get a ton of lives here. Also, the only way to get that maximum tomato that the Poppy Brothers Jr. was bouncing on was to inhale him. Any other way, way, method of trying to get it will just make you lose the maximum tomato. Also, you got to be pretty good at maneuvering yourself in order to get between those Gordos there. Might as well go ahead and get the cutter ability, why not? Get rid of those blocks below the shots over there as we make our way into this door and face the parasol mini boss. Might as well just keep hitting him from this distance. And I believe Oh, you get a random person every time. So sometimes you'll get Rick, sometimes you'll get Koo, sometimes you'll get Kine. That box is kind of random. Thankfully there was some floor under there, albeit of the breakaway kind when you walk on it. Now the blocks underneath this breakaway floor here, if you can break the star blocks there, you can actually get some stars. And if I can time this right, there we go. Gotta be quick to get in that door. At least I got all the stars though. At least the ones that were there. And thankfully we don't have a long to go in this area at all. And I get through this a little more easily if I could stop getting hit. That would be nice. If you get to where the columns are, you'll, the uh, current, the air current will bring you up. And I'm gonna wait for these guys. Oh, they did the high jump, which caused them to go off screen. Also, there's a Max and Tomato to the left, and to the right is the exit. If I could break those blocks at any time, that'd be great. And I got another star, so that wasn't all bad. All right, we got Kine. Had I not got Kine just randomly, I would have had to go all the way to 5-3 and pick Kine up and then bring him back here. But we're not, we're going to need Kine for what we're about to do because this is where we're going to find the rainbow drop. Speaking of abilities, I found out that there are indeed seven after all, not six, like I thought there was in the last video. So we do have seven abilities. I've only seen five of the blocks so far. And those are the ice blocks. Those are the blocks that can only be broken with ice. And because we had enough stars, we can get two one-ups out of there for the price of one. We're going to need ice to get through this segment. We won't be able to leave without it. So you definitely want to swallow a penguin, absorb the ice ability, and then get in here. Now, we have to go down below the center of this area in order to make our way towards the... Rainbow Drop. I'm going to pick up all these things first because, again, one-ups. Don't really need the ability, the, at least the ice ability in particular, to get it, but I might as well use it. Now, this door to the left, because of the air current, you can only get to it if you have Kine. So head left, keep tapping A to move faster, and you'll eventually move against the current 
and you'll meet this guy. I want to get both of those project that projectile after shooting the uh, ability at him, but oh well. I definitely want to absorb the squid mini boss, get the uh, power from him, because we're gonna need spark for what we're gonna do. Now, Kine would have been in this bag if he somehow managed to get in here without Kine, which would be impossible. You could try to get here with Rick and the stone ability combined, but you won't be able to make it close to the door. So now that we're done there, we have to go into that door again. And we need to head to the right this time. We got the spark ability. And we need to make sure not to lose it, because if we mess this up, we may have to start over again. Like, if you lose Kine before we can get Rick, you're going to have to start this whole thing over. So, doing this with the stage completed is recommended. But I'm just going to try it this way, just because I can. If not, I can always do a separate recording and just show you guys how to do it without commentary. So now that we got Rick and the Spark ability, you want to make your way over here. Be sure to take down that Waddle Dee that tries to get you from behind because it will screw you over. And from here, you want to break these two Spark blocks. You have to get pretty close to the pit in order to break them. And by getting rid of these two shots though, because this is the only way you can do it, you get Koo. If you don't have Rick and Spark, you won't be able to get Koo in this room at all. Now go into this door, and from here, we need to go to the right. This will be impossible to do without Koo, because Koo is the only person, the only animal buddy actually, who can fly against the current there. From there, we need to use a combination of the Spark and Koo to rain thunderbolts on this ninja's head. And then we need to swap to get rid of Spark, swallow him, and get the Cutter ability. Be sure to keep holding up so that way you don't keep dropping down. While you keep raining death on him. I had to concentrate there so I could get the Cutter ability. At least if I mess up here, but not too much, I can always go back and get the Cutter ability. But you definitely don't want to be hit on the way there. Because while being hit by a Gordo isn't any more painful than being hit by a regular enemy, if you get hit, you're going to lose Cutter. And if you can't get that ability star back, you're going to have to go all the way to right and start this over. But here are the three blocks that can only be broken with Cutter. And here is the sixth Rainbow Drop. So now that we're done here, Let's just fly all the way to the left. We don't have much further to go now anyway. And I thought I'd get the one up, but sadly I could not. But it doesn't matter because we got that taken care of. And we can go ahead and take care of the rest of Cloudy Park. Now we got Lake Away Platform, but thankfully thanks to the fact that we have... Who is this? This is going to be easier. That way we can take care of all the enemies that try to come at us from behind with Cutter. From a distance. And even though we're underwater, you can still use uh, this combination. You just won't have a whole ton of range like you would in the air or on land. So even underwater is still a pretty capable weapon. You just don't want to get hit, because if you do, you are going to lose it. And I thought I would get hit there. Apparently I didn't. But we got this going on now, so let's go ahead and take care of those frogs and get in the door. Now, another area where you're being pushed around by air. Best way to get through this is with Koo and any ability that will break the blocks in front of you. You can do this with Kirby, although it will take a little bit of time, especially if you don't have an ability. 
I mean, you can inhale the star blocks and break them that way. And once we're done with that section, we now have this area to, t to tangle with. Now, these two side areas will give us some stars, which I want. I may have to use Needle for this, because Cutter just won't cut it. No pun intended. There we go. Now I can get those two stars. And I'm not now up to 43 lives. And guess who makes a sudden surprise appearance this late in the game? The Mummy Balls from the first game. They showed up pretty early in the first one, but they don't show up until near the end in the sequel. So you can still take them down the same way, just kill them with a puff of air while you're flying. Just be careful because they can slowly move towards you. And they will. And with that, we should be able to take care of the rest of the stage, and we should be nearing the end soon, I believe. There we are. Just watch out for that one mummy ball that pops up at the exit. That may catch you off guard. Alright, we are done with half of Cloudy Park now. That's great. So now it's time to take on level 4. And it's pretty much more of the same here. Moving left to right, and probably dealing with some air currents. Dealing with these guys. If you don't have an ability, you can always use these... Star blocks as ammunition against the mummy balls. And I'm gonna have to wait for this guy to move out of the way. You know what, I think it's better we just... Use these for ammunition, even though... We didn't have that much further to go in that little quarter. And that guy shows up again. I forgot he was there. But we can quickly off-screen him. We can get him out of the way, and we can also get the star. Alright, time to go into another door. And we got the needle mini-boss again. And apparently you can't swallow when he's shooting it. Shooting it at you. It has to hit the wall first, apparently. With any luck, I should be able to get some health later. Uh, I thought I got him in time. Thought I would get him in time there, too. Got him there, though. There we go. What are we going to get in here? Well, we got Rick. Don't want him. Because in the next room, we're going to have to deal with some Gordos. And I don't want to get hit again. Actually, if I get hit again, I'm just going to lose Koo. I forgot that the Animal Buddy and Kirby have separate health meters in this game. Also, you had to... You should have... I should have watched out at that door. Because I would have run into a stone enemy. And it stinks that I lost Koo because... Koo would have been really nice for the end of this final section of level 4. If I stayed in the middle, I would have gotten a 1-up, but... We got 43. We got more than enough to get through the game. At least I can get this 1-up, though. But that's alright. And there are 3 stars and 3 1-ups that I would have been able to get had I had... Koo with me. Oh, well. And I'm definitely not going to get a 1-up here, but I do get a star, though. So we just got two more stages left to go in Cloudy Park. And up there is level 5. Let's just go ahead and get in there. And this area is better if you don't have an animal buddy. You'll be able to get through this area just fine with just Kirby himself. Kirby. 
And I should have just waited at those Gordos. I don't know why I'm taking dumb damage here. Taking them really dumb damage. Also, going down there leads to nothing. I could have waited there, but I just realized there was nothing. So you really just have a linear path with no secrets in the walls. Honestly. So let's get up here. I'm going to avoid getting any abilities for right now. I could very easily manage anyway. And that should be the last of us going any further to the right that way. Up there's a door. We just need to make it up there. There we are. Now we got an air current moving towards, moving us back in case we go that far up. Now if we had coup, we would have been able to get past these Gordos really quickly. Want to get a little further down like that. Try not to hit the Gordos on the way down the slope. And just make a pretty tiny hop. Just, just mildly tap the A button. You should be able to make it just over the Gordos there. Now there are a bunch of doors here. The correct exit, I believe, is second to, is the second one to the left, which is this one right here. I'm going to check out all the doors, though. Now, had you come in here with an animal animal buddy, this room would have been torture. So we got that one taken care of. Let's go in here. Scarfies. So let's take them down. And let's go to the door to the right of that. What's going to be in there? Five stars. Well, that's all right. Maybe there's going to be something good in this one. Five money balls. Great. So the two doors next to the center one, this one and this one, have good things in it. The rest of them are evil. And this is the one with the exit, so let's go in here at last. Five pet brews! More than enough to re refill your health completely. Let's go ahead and get another star. I don't know why I had all seven stars highlighted like that. Kind of a weird glitch I had going on. But, got it taken care of, and we're now ready to take on level 6. And we get to fight this guy in the wind. If we jump any higher than where we were at the start, we would have been pushed, pushed back by the wind. Pushed to the right a little bit. But, it's nothing we can't handle here, because as long as you jump, don't jump too high, the wind won't bother you anyway. I'm going to go ahead and take Spark with me because why not? Because this is the only way you're going to be able to break the block and get your animal buddy out. That would have been really nasty if I did not break that block before I got Koo because I would have been trapped in there forever. And I would have had to redo this over the whole thing. I would have had to redo like 19 minutes worth of footage and that's not very good to deal with at all. But anyway, oh shoot, I forgot I have two, so therefore I can just go against the rides. Because if you do that, you'll be able to get some stars that way. So I'm going to get those before I do anything else. As much as I would like to speed past this section. Is there anything to the left of where we can't... No. No, there is not. But yeah, that would have been very terrible to re-record. I definitely do not want to deal with getting the... Let's 
spark, not the spark ability, but the rainbow drop again. And when you reach this area past the breakaway floor, you'll be going against the current again. Again, you're going to need Ku to get the stars in here, in this little section, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. And there's nothing to the left there. So we just got this section, this breakaway floor to deal with. Just got to press, hold down a control pad in order to break it. Is there anything in this direction? No. Okay. So I'm just going to ditch that and go with the air gun here. Get that pep through there. And from there, we should be in this section. We've got a bunch of stars that we can pick up, so we might as well go ahead and take them if we can. Bait that guy towards me and try to get rid of him. There's another star up there. Of course, we're going to have to turn back to, uh, after getting it. <coughs> and now we got to go back down there. And try not to get hit a whole bunch as we do this. We got four stars, one in each corner. It's just a matter of getting where we need to go in order to get them all. And this will lead us to the one in the lower left. And I forgot that guy would respawn. Brilliant! So all that's left of the four stars now is to get the one in the lower right. And we need to go down here in order to get it. No, if I didn't kill that guy, he'd probably still be following me and I wouldn't have to worry about him responding. But, well, he didn't, thankfully. And we can just now continue on our merry way over to here? Yeah, I believe we should be going over here next. Because that'll lead us to the door, I think. Yeah, that'll lead us to the door. For a second, I thought that was going to take us straight to a dead end. And now we're being being brought up thanks to the air currents. If I can do this without dying, that'd be great. If you don't have coup like I no longer do now, you want to stay in the middle. So that way you can get that one up really easy. From there you can just go to the sides here and get all the other collectibles. Much less work if you have two. And from there, we are done with all the regular levels of Cloudy Park. And now we got the boss. That eye looks familiar. Now, he's, that eye is going to do a couple things. That's one of them. You want to stay away from him when he does that. And he'll also pop out of the ground. And he also shoot eyes out, too. Remember, this guy is Cracko from the first game. When he gets down low like that, you want to duck. And he'll eventually stop and have those little four circles that go around him. Ow. Didn't know that would happen. I forgot about that. See, those little four circles around him will turn into bombs when they separate from him. They'll explode. Then he'll drop down into the ground and leave an eye that you can spit at him with to do some damage. This is the first of two forms that he has. And I forgot he has that attack too. He can send that to the ground and it will explode when it reaches the corner. Definitely want to stay away from that. You also want to stay away from wherever it is that he pops up from, from in the floor. And if I can just get one more hit on him, that'd be great. Doing a lot better here than I did in the practice run. There we go. One more. At least I remembered this time. Get out of here. And now it's time for the real Cracko. You, you didn't think he would do that spiky cloud form 
like in the first game, would you? Of course he's gonna do that. That's one of his attacks there, besides spitting out the eyeballs that you can spit at him. He also causes that lightning to hit the ground as he moves from one side of the room to the other. And I'm not doing very well so far. Also, he does that. But as long as you're in the air, that will never be able to hit you. You also want to be in the air if he's coming towards you while he's doing the thunder attack. Oop. I'm surprised he doesn't do that lunge attack like he does in the first game. I keep thinking he might do it, but he does not. I find it funny that he looks at you while he does this, but he never thinks of shooting upwards. Then again, I've never really seen a cloud shoot lightning or thunder upwards. And that was terrible. I do not want to die here because I do not want to do this whole battle again. Oh, now he does it. Of course, you have no idea when he's going to do it because he's silent the whole time. Is he going to lunge? No, he's not going to lunge. And he just does all these attacks at random. As always. Totally makes sense for him to do it there, but we got one more hit on him, and that was enough to do it. Learned some new tricks, but they just weren't enough. Wispy was and Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright could have told him that. And that's all the way on the right side of the screen and looks very foreboding. I'm pretty sure that's the final level. But before we take care of that in the final video, we're going to show off the last bonus area. This one's pretty simple. Well, at least the premise is. It is easier said than done because these scenes can be difficult if you don't know what to do or what to expect. Avoid the eyes. Get the stars. Both pop out of the ground. Watch the ground. Don't hit any eyeballs. And that went into the ground, fooey. I missed two. I'm going to try to do this off screen. I'm going to do this as a separate video for the opening of the seventh video. And I knew I was going to do less than perfect there anyway. But we did pretty well. I think we made it close at the end. Maybe I should have inhaled a star, not a star, but, a, but an eyeball, and then use that as ammunition to take care of the next one. Maybe that would help. That's a pretty good way of trying to do it. Don't rely on just speed alone. But in the next area, not next area, but, well, next video is the next area, we're going to take on the last level of the game. we got seven stages to go through, and we have one more rainbow drop to collect. This is going to be a fun one, so join me next time for that. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!